uh, obviously a lot of people, and I thought this was cool, big Ricky Starks fan myself, he was there to support you at the Rumble, right? Like, kind of... Yeah. <laughs> what, an, what an idiot, though. Like, yeah, listen, it's one of those things where the locker rooms have crossover. People are married to other people in other locker rooms. Mm. People are friends. This is a, a kid that I started on his journey uh, at my my former home, and... And I, I obviously want to follow and see his journey, but I, I will say if um, it's probably best that none of my friends come and visit me at the shows anymore, just, you know, we don't need security <laughs> cam footage of, of that poor, poor dude. I hope he didn't get in any trouble. And I don't think he did. He was there to support a friend who had been at absolutely down and out with the pec injury. And Ricky was one of the guys who n nursed me through it to a degree and, and helped remind me of who I can be. Uh, mm -hmm. So I was happy to have him. And I, was, I had some other friends there. The other friends stayed on the bus because they're not crazy yahoos. But yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully that we can just, maybe we just watch each other at a distance. I don't want to cause any, any strife between any places. Uh, we all love the same thing. It's the squared circle. It's, it's, it's the wrestling industry. And, and I, uh, I got to remember, you know, just, you know, I I always think I don't have any rules. There are rules. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of brought that up to say this, like if and and hoping that we do get that magic moment at WrestleMania, I kind of would like to see you dusting the whole family together, man, celebrating mm. it. Like is, is that a plausible yeah. thing to think about? Well, you know, it's not something Dustin and I have a very unique relationship. Um very unique it's almost like we're we're at our optimum at our peak as brothers when we're together in the ring um i think we've both very settled on the idea that a we never want to tag team with each other ever again because as much fun as we had we were at each other's throats but we've also we're at a point where i love my brother so much and as i get closer to this i think about him every day um I really do. And that would be special. It would, it would take uh, some people getting along to agree, but that also is very cart before horse because mm -hmm. currently what stands in front of me. And I mean, there's no hyperbole in what I say is Roman reigns. That's currently what stands in front of me as he refers to himself, God tier that buddy, that this, this guy is the best of the best in terms of strength, in terms of conditioning, in terms of, I mean, 800 something days can't be argued if you're making a list and he's number one your list ain't real can't be argued and i'm not thinking about any type of victory lap or celebration other than i'm thinking about making sure i don't get hit square in the mouth uh with a superman punch my transaction needs to be simple i don't need to get caught up in whatever's happening behind the scenes, those are those stories can be fun, but I need my story on the screen to be the more important story. Mm -hmm. And for that to happen, I need to be at the very best. Best as a superstar, best as a wrestler, because then the other stuff will come.